Hey everybody, hope that you're having a great day. Hopefully uh, the day's going well. It's hard to believe it's Thursday already. Uh, we're getting ready to have in-person worship again, but we're still gonna do virtual worship. So uh, whether you can be here or you're at home or wherever you are, uh, you can still tune in and be part of the worship. Well, we're looking at Isaiah. We're looking to look at chapter nine and chapter 10 today uh, with the emphasis being on one passage of scripture, a section of scripture in chapter nine. So let me read that passage. It's uh, chapter nine, verses two through seven. And uh, here we hear what Isaiah says. He, he wrote, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness on them, a light has shown. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken, as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramping warrior in the battle tumult, and every garment rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for the fire. Now here's where it comes. Verse 6 and 7. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of, of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. And that's great news. It's the coming Messiah. We've heard little little pockets of information about Jesus coming. And we saw it in chapter 7, verse 14, that the virgin will give birth to a son and will name him Emmanuel. And we see that in the Gospels. And now we hear to us, a child is born. Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Great news, great, great news for us. <clears throat> but it doesn't end with the great news at this point. Because right after that, Isaiah goes on and he talks about the fall of Israel at, towards the whole rest of chapter 9 of their arrogance and the way they were towards God that they are going to be taken into captivity. And they're going to be taken by the Assyrians. That comes out in chapter 10 as well. But as chapter 10 moves on, then we see that the Assyrians, because of their arrogance, because of who they are, they are going to get destroyed as well. So the nation of Israel will be destroyed. They will be taken captive and brought to Assyria. And the Assyrians who take them captive, they will ultimately be defeated as well. And that goes on all the way to verse 20. And then in verse 20, there becomes another shift in the book. And that's the point that there's a faithful remnant who are going to return. And they're going to return to God and to worshiping God. <clears throat> verse 20 says, In that day, the remnant of Israel and the survivors of the house of Jacob will no more lean on him who struck them, but will lean on the Lord the Holy One of Israel in truth. And so it's this ebb and flow that we constantly see in this book of the judgment and then the remnant who's going to return. There's always a remnant, and that is the great news. So hold on to those verses in the beginning, verses 6 and 7 especially in chapter 9. For to us a child is born. Ah, great news for us today. Have a great day. God bless you.